so test number two for our Sun God rocket motor. This is a three inch Bates core at the bottom for the fuel cell and then it converts to a four inch solid for an end burner. We've got our all steel nozzle in there. We're going to do a thrust test and hope that it doesn't explode at the same time. So that went really well, except for that. A little too much heat and uh, <laughs> clearly blew through the side just at the end. But other than that, the burn was very good. So I think we learned a couple things about this. Um, so in order to get this to not explode, we had to use a number 15 nozzle, uh, which is good for the Bates core section for about one and a half seconds, but when it converted to just being an end burner, that was uh, a very large nozzle for that amount of fuel that was burning. So we got a long burn time, but very, very little thrust. So what we're probably gonna concentrate on next is doing just a single end burning uh, inch and a quarter motor that'll be used in conjunction with a Bates core motor separately. So we'll have the, the thrust motor and then a separate boost motor that's in the rocket alongside that, either one or two boost motors. The other thing, obviously, um, this is our weakest section here. Um, so we'll work on doing a boost motor that has a double lined system where it's basically the, the coupler here for the uh, nozzle and then we'll have another coupler in the midsection and then the end cap so everything will be double lined to try and avoid this burn through problem. Other than that um, overall that was really a pretty successful test and gave us a lot of information so that was really good.